All right, so I've got a bit of a dream story and also a lucid dreaming challenge for you today. This kind of goes along with what is called dream commands. So in this challenge, I want you to try and ask the lucid dream to surprise you. So go into a lucid dream, use whatever technique you want, okay? And by the way, I will actually read out people's comments from this video in a future video. So if you do want your story to be shared, uh, leave a comment letting me know what you think about this. So go into a lucid dream, use whatever technique you want, okay? You can use the 90 aisles technique, the net technique, these are all on my channel. But this will blow your mind because it will be different every single time. And for every single person who tries this, this will be different for you. And this is why I find it so exciting because it's gonna be quite a diverse experience, quite an interesting experiment to do. So I really hope that you get on well with this. So here's what you need to do, become lucid, ask the lucid dream to surprise you. Literally just call out in the dream, say, give me some surprise, show me something different, show me something unusual or unexpected. And just say that, just say it and then wait. Wait a few seconds and if nothing happens, try and say it again. But what will probably happen is, well, I can't tell you exactly what will happen because it's gonna be different for everyone. But for me, it was pretty mind blowing, pretty unbelievable what happened next. And the reason it's so powerful is because your subconscious mind is unbelievably more powerful than your conscious mind. Every second, your conscious mind takes in 16 to 40 bits of information per second. Your subconscious mind takes in 11 million bits of information in one second. That just gives you an idea of the computational power of the subconscious mind and how much more there is to your brain than you know. So when you ask your lucid dream or ask your subconscious to surprise you, you can guarantee it's gonna be a surprise. Not only will it be a surprise, but it will be a message from something higher. This is where I'm gonna lose half of you. So for the half of you that are still here, your subconscious mind and your dreams are not just in your head. Yes, the dreaming process happens in your head while you're asleep, but you are open to messages from your higher self and other dimensions and planes of existence. Now, no, I do not have any studies to link to for this. This has not been studied. This is just my opinion and my belief based on my personal beliefs, my uh, research and reading that I've done and what I've experienced myself, which is that you can get messages from your higher self through the dream in the form of symbology, guidance, insights, and what the dream will show you if you ask it to surprise you. Now lucid dreaming or dream meaning experts often say, don't lucid dream if you want to interpret your dreams. And I completely agree because when you become lucid, the symbology kind of becomes more in your control and less random. You shift from being almost completely unconscious or subconscious to mostly conscious. And it's kind of like a hybrid state where you are aware of what you're doing. At the same time, the dream is creating itself subconsciously, but by being aware of it, by being lucid, you stop the lucid dream, or I should say you stop the dream, your subconscious mind, from showing you things, uh, messages, things that it was gonna show you. So that is true. However, here is an exception to that. If you become lucid and then tell the dream to surprise you, then you're gonna get stuff that you never would have got before. This is gonna be unbelievably powerful and prophetic insights into your life, into your purpose, your higher mission, all of these really important things. And most of you, maybe you don't care, but I would advise you to at least try this out. Try this challenge out and see what happens. See what the dream shows you. So yeah, by asking the dream to surprise you, you will get an unexpected result. However, and this is really important, just like an LSD or a hallucinogenic trip, your subconscious or conscious reality expectations, what you think will happen, will influence how bad the trip or the dream will be, or how good it will be. If you go into this and you're scared, you will have a bad experience. The dream, the lucid dream will terrify you. It will give you something really shocking, pretty mind blowing. I've had this happen a few times and it's been pretty tough to deal with. However, if you go into this with a good mindset, a positive mindset, you're happy, you're excited, and you're open to positive new messages. If you do it then, the lucid dream is gonna give you an incredible experience. I promise you that.